We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. I'm in a good Christmas mood, so we had the hired help put a giant wreath over our front door this Christmas. And the living room was too small to put the Christmas trees, so we put them outside this year. This is the 2024 Infiniti QX60 SUV, around 70 grand worth of vehicle here. We already did a full road test on this, all the performance and fuel coming numbers, posted that on YouTube. This video is night drive and headlight test only. If you want to see the full test, we'll have a link later at the end of this video. So let's take these out and see how they perform. So let's step out and take a look at these headlights, and I see we have the Infiniti emblem light up on the rocker panels inside the car. An Infinity emblem on the outside, so I don't know. Everybody will know you're driving Infinity when they're walking in the parking lot, I guess. And here they are. Apparently, we have the low beams on. I only see one bulb lighting up. Now, I turn the brights on. I see two bulbs. Not sure what the one is on the left. Oh, the Infinity emblem on the grill lights up too. How cool! And here's what the tail lights look like, long and thin. And I see the emergency blinkers are in a separate housing. And here are the front. A lot easier to see with the headlights off, that's for sure. Very bright now. And small but very bright here too. And we have some blinkers on the outside mirror. And here's the info screen. All the climate controls and radio knob. The gauge cluster. Now we're doing this with the headlights turned off. You turn them on, everything's getting a bit dimmer. And the shift knob is a bit hard to see, although it does light up. Some other controls light up a bit better. The camera system has excellent resolution. If you watch my videos, I do not like auto dimming mirrors unless they have a disconnect switch, but here we have a camera system instead. It's pretty dark out there, you can't see too much. We'll wait till we get out on the street. One thing I do not like about this vehicle the heads up display in the windshield. Most cars, you can turn this feature off, but apparently I've gone through the whole menu. You can lower the brightness or move it around, but I cannot find a way to turn it off. So, get a piece of black cardboard, shove it down the little slot that's down there, and now it's gone. Hey, it works. And by the way, this is what the dome lights look like when they light up the cabin. All right, the headlight test. We got the low beams on, about 33 yards away, very bright, decent height, high beam. Doesn't raise very far, but uh, I should say very high, but looks adequate to me. Let's go out to a longer distance. All right, looking good for low beam, high beam. Goes up just over the wall, doesn't light up the building in the back like a lot of high beams do, but. We're not aiming for helicopters here. This is still more than adequate. I'm not complaining. I call this the 100 yard dash. Here we got the low beams on. It actually reaches out almost. Very impressive for a low beam. I don't think we've ever seen a low beam do that. Now to go high beam. Again, not much height, but more than adequate. These are very nice headlights. I have no complaints. I didn't notice it earlier, but I notice it now. These are active headlights. They swivel in the same direction as the steering wheel is being turned, which makes it great for taking corners like this. There we go. A nice feature to have. This rearview camera system works great in the daytime, but at night you really don't see too much unless you have a lot of street lights. 
I think I'll just put it back in the glass mode. Yeah, that's definitely better. Let's do some dark, dingy street driving. Ho, ho, ho. Got the low beams on. High beam. Now we have the lights off. Even on low beam I can light up the signs way down the road and with the high beam about a half mile after that. Again, nice headlights. There's some other manufacturers out there that need to learn from this. Are you listening, Lexus and Acura? That concludes our headlight test tonight. Drive, you want to see the full road test. Here's a link coming up. Go ahead and watch it. You're already here.